welcome back to my mummy spam. Today I am joining in with you, me, no, you baby, me, mummy, and Mrs. T plus three for their vlog star linky. And this month's theme is 10 things that make me, me. Apologies if you can hear really weird noise from upstairs. Um, hubs and bubs are currently running around being crazy there because we tried to film this with Bubba present and this is how it went. Um, oh, like that. Okay. <laughs> so I am taking part in the vlog stars linky with you, baby, me, mummy, and Mrs. T plus three. Right, we're in focus. We're good. Do you want your flash? Are we in focus? We're good. <laughs> no, I've got Charles heading away. No, cut, cut the top of your head off. Well, then you need to untwist that. Yes, I know how it works. Oh goodness, we've got. Breadstick on the floor and now you're on the ceiling, oh dear. This is why you don't film with the shot. Hello! <laughs> Go sit outside. Come here, look. And then say hello. Say hello! <laughs> I'm going to share with you. Oh my god! <laughs> so let's get straight into it. My first thing that makes me me is obviously my family. Um, hubby and Bubs are my world, they have shaped the person that I am now, they have given me my blog because they are the, the force behind the blog and they just, they make me, me in my opinion. Number two, my phone. Um, I tend to be on my phone a lot, um, I'm, I don't play a lot of games, it's just checking emails, checking Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, recently went to Pinterest as well. Um, I don't like not having my phone with me. I always have to have my phone with me if I'm just popping to the shops for five minutes. Um, so yeah, my phone pretty much sums me up. Leading on from that, the other thing that I think really makes me me is the fact that I take so many pictures. Um, I love taking photos. I'm not good at it. I just like snapping the moment because I feel that there's people that aren't in my life anymore that I regret not taking more pictures with and of and I don't want to feel like that so therefore I will just take as many pictures as I can now it annoys hubby, I think Bubba gets annoyed of having a phone shoved in his face and I go say cheese but yeah, I love taking photos just for me to remember moments number four also kind of leads on from the phone um, I think it's number four isn't it? yeah, number four is um, Facebook I'm, I'm a little bit of a Facebook addict. Um, I love nothing more than just scrolling through Facebook and seeing what people are doing. And it was one of the reasons I started my Mummy Spam's blog because I was mummy spamming Facebook when Bubba was born with all of this stuff. People don't want to know if my child's eaten porridge for breakfast, that he's had a poo. And I was a massive oversharer on Facebook, but now I have my blog to overshare on and I just like looking at Facebook because I'm a generally nosy person, so I like knowing what other people are doing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty confident that Facebook is a part of me. Number five? Yeah, five. Um, is this is one that was suggested by Harvey and it's chocolate. I don't have any chocolate to show you. I was going to get a bar so we had chocolate, but I don't have any because I've eaten it. Um, if there is chocolate in the house, I will find it. I will eat it. Um, I love chocolate. Anything chocolatey as well. So it doesn't have to be a bar of chocolate. It could be Maltesers or anything like that. I love it. I love chocolate. Number six is nails. I always have my nails painted and if I don't have my nails painted I feel kind of naked and um, these are ones that I do myself. I don't know if you can see them if they're going to focus. This is like a lilac colour. I never wear lilac. Um, but I just stick them on. They're just normal nails. Stick them on, paint them. I actually lost one today at work which I have to replace later. But I love having my nails on. It makes me just feel a bit pretty and girly and, and kind of prepared and ready for the day. Number seven is something that I think really makes me, me, and that is my bed. I love my sleep. Um, I've always been the kind of person that's needed a good kind of seven hours sleep a night. And even when I was little, my granddad nicknamed me Mouse because I used to sleep like a dormouse all the time. So yeah, sleep is very important to me. Number eight is routine. I'm a very routine person. I like to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. I like to be organized. So yeah, routine pretty much makes me me as well. Number nine. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. That's a very good one. Number nine is Disney. Oh, someone doesn't want to be here. 
Disney is a massive part of what I think makes me me. I've always loved Disney ever since I was a little girl and my mum and dad took me there when I was about six to Euro Disney and I loved it. I've always loved the Disney princesses and what makes it even more special is that me and hubby met there on a school trip um, years ago, kind of, God, I think it was 10 years this year, no, 11 years this year we met there um, and then he took me back and he proposed to me there and it's just a really, really special place to us and luckily Bubba loves Disney now, hence the fact that there are literally Mickey Mouse toys everywhere. I can see three Mickey Mouse things while I'm sitting here talking to you. Um, he loves it and we're actually taking him to Disneyland Paris in September uh, for his second birthday and our fourth wedding anniversary? Yeah, it's four years. Um, so I can't wait. Um, I'm very, very excited. And last but not least, number 10. And one guess what it is? It's coffee. Um, I love coffee. I love, I love good coffee as well. So like a decent cup of coffee. So you get posh coffee and you get middle range coffee and then you get like rubbish coffee. Rubbish coffee I drink pretty much every day because otherwise it'd be ridiculously expensive. But I do have a Tassimo machine. I love my Tassimo machine. Um, but I do love a good posh coffee. You know, like the cafetiera ones. Oh, lovely. So they are the 10 things that make me, me. If you don't know me, I hope that you've learned a bit about me and you've learned a bit about what I'm like. Um, and if you do, hopefully this is all stuff you already know, but if it's not, then that's a bit worrying because then you probably don't know me that well. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe, press the button, I don't know which side it is, press the button to subscribe. And don't forget to come and say hi, I'll put my social media links down below, so come over and say hello. Um, but thank you very much for watching, bye.